Coach, fall ball's here. Just talk about the excitement level, you know, among the coaching staff and the guys. Oh, just it, it's awesome having them back. Um, we gave them uh, a couple weeks of no baseball um, because with college baseball, you know, you're starting out your season January, you go through your season, and then our players are playing in the summer, uh, different leagues throughout the country. Um, we wanted to give them a good rest, um, you know, before we went into our fall workouts uh, because we go in our fall workouts, we go in, indoors for individual workouts, and then it's when, and then we're ready to start again. So when do they really get a good time off to rest their bodies, uh, their minds, a little bit of the game? So the first couple weeks, we, we decided to do that. All we did was lift, um, and uh, then we started out with some individual work, and we started a team last Sunday. But it, the excitement's there, the intensity um, at practice and the different workouts that they're doing, um, it's exciting. Um, it's, a, it's a good group. Practicing indoors, it's got to be nice just to be able to walk across the street and practice in a $12 million facility that's you know, a couple months old. Well, it's tremendous. You know, it, it's uh, you know we wanted to stay on track just this week. You know, our first practice was Sunday. Uh, Monday, some rain came in. Uh, it could have easily we could have easily just banged Monday and taken up uh, Wednesday's practice. Uh, but we wanted to stay on track with our pitchers, and um, it was great just being able to not miss a beat. Um, the defensive uh, rotations and different things that we wanted to do just able to do that and, and stay on track for this week um, with a big week uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of, of some inner squads. Looking at the roster a little bit, just three seniors on the team. How have those guys kind of adjusted to their new role? I know that they've had a lot of playing time since they've been here, but you know, having that senior label, how have they adjusted to that? You see them talking to younger guys and the newer guys, explaining some things uh, here and there um, because, you know, it is a adjustment for new players, uh, not only – freshmen but we have some junior college transfers and uh you know you could see uh you know how they're helping with that you know the it's a good senior uh group uh leadership and and uh playing ability that kind of thing but um you really see their confidence and uh wanting uh us to win and and them help guiding everybody else in that manner obviously the uh the loss of climb it's kind of a blow to the pitching staff. Just talk about, you know, who's maybe kind of in your mind is maybe stepping up to that number one or if it's going to be kind of a, a combination of a lot of guys just, you know, being strong number twos level right. or whatever. Well, I think right now it's 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 a combo, you know, until we really get into some of our inner squads. But it, it is exciting seeing, you know, some of the guys' bullpens, uh, the newer uh, pitchers coming in and, and the returners. Um, you know, and, and a lot of the drill work that they're doing, observing that, um, you know, it, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be a, a very good competition um, of who those weekend guys are going to be and, and relievers and, and uh, you know, closers. But uh, um, I really like the strides that they're making, especially with, you know, our new uh, pitching coach, Eddie Marco, uh, doing tremendous things. So um, really looking forward to seeing those guys on the mound uh, this weekend. You got 14 new guys and three guys who redshirted last year, if I counted right. Um, just talk about you know how those guys are doing. You know maybe who stood out, including with the 14 new guys and then O'Brien and and uh, Krokos and Fry coming back. Uh, Fry's taking it still a little bit easy. You know he still has to stay on his plan, but Krokos is is uh, really coming back very strong. Him and Manapelli um, are. Uh, you know, on a, a very good plan right now. They're on track. Um, we hope to get them a, a couple innings here this fall. Um, and, uh, you know, but the new guys, they're adjusting well. You know, that first practice, it's always that uh, wide open eyes and, and trying to impress um, kind of thing. And, and what we did was after uh, that first practice, the next day we just kind of, I just talked to them and said, hey, you already impressed us. That's why you're here. And so let's, you know, just, you know, take it easy and, uh, you know, just let your athletic ability take over. And we really had a good practice Tuesday and, and last night, um, uh, Monday and Tuesday, uh, of just you see things start to become a little bit easier. They're, they're more, uh, you know, they're adapting very well. Has anybody stood out among those 17, I guess, 
Um, 14 new guys plus O'Brien. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell you, you know, Marcus Heath, you know, uh, coming in um, as a junior college transfer, first going to University of Cincinnati his first year in college and redshirting there and then transferring last year and, um, you know, seeing him uh, swing it in the cage, I think he's he's really uh, standing out um, right now with, you know, just seeing him a couple times years ago, seeing him last year once, um, but just knowing of him, uh, he's really bringing a, a good, you know, uh, you know, offensively. Um, he's he's bringing he's bringing it. What do you hope the identity of this team is? I just think just hard working and we're never out of a game. I mean, I, I know I've said that year after year, but um, you know, this team, uh, you know, they're they're hard workers. I mean, they're uh, they're smart baseball players. Um, you know, we'll see. I mean, the identity's kind of tough a little bit right now just for first couple practices in. Um, but that's what I'm hoping, you know, that, uh, you know, we're, we, we even went over yesterday how we sprint on and off the field. You know, as little as that seems, that's very important with how we, how we play the game. And, um, you know, just understanding structure and, and that kind of thing with cut man's relays uh, that were very strong. But, you know, an identity... You know we're we're going to advance balls in the dirt. You know we're we're going to have uh, every scrimmage that every time there's a ball in the dirt we have to advance. If we don't, there's a consequence. You know we just have to have that mentality and uh, and look for that. You know and not fall asleep on the bases. And so you know that's what one of our rules are going to be this weekend. So every ball that's in the dirt, even if it's a couple inches out in front of the catcher, we're advancing just to get that. Um, intensity on the base pads but uh, you know I think after uh, late October and, and we're through with our fall we'll have an identity uh, right now we're just kind of seeing how how things are and we're putting things into place I, I think these first three practices were important to, for them to understand the this is how we do cuts and relays um, the the terminology during that time um, how we run the bases um, how we even take batting practice, that kind of thing, our hitting philosophy. Everything is in place, these three practices, then we're going into scrimmage. Just talk about the, you know, the fall schedule, some highlights, you know, how long it goes. Well, like yeah, we, we, uh, we'll have some inner squads this weekend, and then next week is uh, our scout day, you know, which we will have anticipating 17, 18 pro scouts here. Uh, watching our guys go through a workout um, at Eastwood Field and, and uh, Wednesday night. And, um, and then that'll carry into uh, uh, a few more practices. And then we play uh, Potomac State on October 9th and Sinclair Community College on the 15th of October. So those are a couple highlights that, you know, instead of inner squad, sometimes that gets a little, uh, you know, a little dry or, you know, guys are getting tired of seeing each other, uh, facing each other. Um, so that's going to give us a little different look.